In this video, we're going to take a look at working with the live database and also the local database in Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this video, I'm using the blue marble.c4d scene. Pretty simple scene. It's got a sphere with a specular material, a little bit of a marble texture going on in there. Not the world's most exciting material, but good enough for this example. So you can see here is the material in the node editor. So let's take a look at the databases. If I go to materials open live db i will get this panel that has live database and local database so live databases are materials that you can find online that other users have created uh, usually it will take a few seconds to update all the materials in here so you know, sometimes you have to be patient with that as you can see there's downloading the texture preview at the moment if you see down here at the bottom and then you can see now we have all these previews of materials that other Octane users have created that you can download and use in your scenes. And there's a lot of them. Uh, but let's take a look at the local database. So the local database is stored locally. Uh, so is materials that you can save uh, and apply between different sessions of Octane in Cinema 4D. If you want to know where these files are actually located, you can go to the file menu and choose show local DB directory and it will open up a folder which shows you the location of your local database plus the materials that you currently have in there. So let's say I want to create a new category. I'm going to right click in the local DB and choose create new category and let's call this custom. And you can see when I expand local DB here, I have custom appears right here with my other categories. And right now these categories are empty. So the next question would be, how do I save a material to my local DB? Um, what you want to do is you want to go down here to the materials sections right here. And I'm going to select my EK blue marble material. That's the material that is currently applied to this sphere. Which you see right here, EK blue marble. I'm going to select it and just literally drag it into the glass section of local DB and then it appears. So let's say we want to bring in a material from our local database, the local DB, I have this art rock material. So I can select it and choose download and it appears here in my material area and then I can apply it to the objects in my scene. This is a mixed material, so you can see it's got the mixed material and then the two main components that make up the material. And if there are textures involved, they will be downloaded as well. Now let's take a look at the live DB. So that of course is these categories up here. I take a look in the organic wood section, all these different woods. So I'm gonna select one of these. Let's select an object in my scene, we'll select this area in the back, this little bent plane, and then I'm going to choose download. And it's going to download, and once it's downloaded, you can see here it is down here in the materials area. So I'm going to apply this to the background. You can see now we have our wood appearing, complete with the textures that have also been downloaded. And those are in your local directory now. So if you want to save a material to the Octane Live DB, your live database, you can't actually do it from Octane. You actually have to save out your material and then uh, open it in Octane Standalone and upload it through Octane Standalone. So to save out your material, you can go into the node editor, right click over it, and choose Save Material as Orbix. And then the dialog, I'm going to go to Course Resources, and we'll just call this Blue Marble. Orbix. And save it. So I've opened up Octane Standalone. I'll choose File, Open. And find that blue marble material. And here it is. There's no objects in the machine that is applied to, so we just see the material down here in the node editor, but that's okay. Now what we can do is go to the live DB tab, 
expand materials. We'll go to non-organic and glass. So here's our glass materials. I'm going to go to the root here, select this, choose save. And then in location, I'll choose live DV. And then I can choose categories. So I'll choose non-organic glass. Give it a name, a description, full name, any credits that I want to create, and it will create the thumbnail for me. So I've already stored this in live DB, so I'm not going to do it again, but that is basically the process for storing this to the live database.